Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna do something just a little bit different. I am out on a family vacation at Deep Creek Lake, Maryland. Now, this is not my normal southern bass fishing fair out here. This is a uh, this is a lake I really don't know a whole lot of about it. It is the largest body of water in the state of Maryland. It's like on the western part of the state. Um, again, I don't have a boat launch because uh, family rented a lake house. Um, so we got direct access here. Um, I don't really know what kind of fish is out here. I, uh, I tried to do a little bit of research before I came and like the only fish that I saw were like fish that I don't really have like any experience with. It was like pickerel and walleye and rock bass and like just stuff I don't really know anything about. But I'm out here now, gonna give it my best shot, try to put a couple fish in the boat. So let's get to it. Smalley. All right. Not a big guy, but we're on the board though. That's awesome. All right, guys. Let's get this little guy back in the water. And now it's time for <laughs> Tackle Roundup. All right, guys, what I caught my fish on, the fishing has been pretty tough. Uh, I I don't know what what I was expecting, but uh, it's been, like, very tough. And uh, the only bite I've gotten has been on this. Look at this little thing. It's a uh, Ned rig, and the, the bait is this. The Z-Man TRD Crawls. And the color is California Crawl. Um, I've never, I've never used these, uh, sorry if you're getting like a weird angle, but I got, I'm trying to get one out of the package. I've never used these before. I've used like the, the Z-Man, the regular TRD, the, just the Ned rig, but I saw these in the store and it's kind of like got a, you know, like a little crawdad coloration. And I like the, uh, I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell what color that is. I, I when it comes to crawdad colors, I, I like black and red. And I think that's kind of black and red or at least it appears black and red to me like a dark brown or with like the red flake in it so i, I like the coloration on it again uh i bought these like back when i was when i was in home in south carolina and i got them because like i didn't really know what to expect out here and i i heard there's small mouth in here so uh uh small mouth love like the crawl dads they actually prefer the crawl dad stuff from what I've heard. <laughs> they prefer the crawdad stuff more than the uh, the bait stuff. So uh, so anyways, that's what I did. And I got it rigged up on a, uh, a little net, weedless Ned head. Um, the thing about this lake is you kind of got to get out here super early because man alive, this is kind of like a, uh, a vacation place and it's all like pleasure boaters. I don't know if you see. It's pleasure boaters and wake boaters, like a lot. I mean, this is in the middle of the week, but it's it's actually pretty busy already. But uh, that's what I'm using is uh, this. It's cool because they, there's a lot of docks. Everything looks really fishy. There's like big uh, grass mats and stuff down out here. Um, I haven't had any luck in that, but it seems like there would be good fishing. Haven't found that to be the case yet, but uh, let's see if we can put a couple more on the boat. And that concludes today's <laughs> Tackle Roundup. All right. 
All right. Look at him. Again, not big, but that's nice though. All right. Another little teeny tiny small mouth, but this is cool because I don't like where I'm from. We really don't have small mouth. Well, they're there, but they're just in very limited places. So that's cool. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys. First little one of the day. It's a little smally. Uh, I lost another one earlier in the day, but fun to catch on top water. All right, let's get him back in the water. Well, hey guys. Um, it's interesting. Like <laughs> I've never really fished these kind of conditions before. But look at this. I don't, hopefully you can see that. There's like a bunch of submergent grass in there. Let me let's see if you can see it in my polarized glasses a little bit better. But let me get right over it and put it in the water. Which is pretty cool. I'm not, I mean... Not only am I not real accustomed to fishing grass, I've never fished this kind of grass before, which is cool. Like the grass back home, it's like, oh, let me turn this music off. The grass back home is like, it'll be like, I don't know the names of the grass, but it's like one little thing and it's, it's real fuzzy. These are like big leafy. I mean, it's like a leaf. It's like a uh, leafy. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it is it's very leafy leafy grass um i'm not having much luck fishing it but i know there's got to be fish in there so uh that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna resume trying to fish this leafy grass Awesome though. <laughs> is that a, I don't know what that is. Is that a pike or a pickerel? I don't know, I can't tell.
Oh, that's pretty slimy. I'm assuming this is a, I'm assuming this is a pickerel. Look at that thing. Look at him. Oh yeah, it's a slimy mess. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm from the south. I don't know what these fish are. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that. Heck yeah. Oh wait. The camera's off. All right, guys. All right, guys. Look at that. I don't think my back camera was working for some reason, but that's cool. Let's get him back in the water. What the heck was that? <laughs> uh, nowhere even close to his mouth. Look at that. First one of the trip. This is a little rock bass. We don't really have those like where I'm from. Look at that, that's a that's a cool little fish. It's kind of like a panfish looking thing. Huh. Add that new species to the list. Look at that. All right. Let's get this little guy back in the water. Look at him. That's the nicest one of the trip right there. Look at that guy. Nice and fat. Look at that. All right. The bites have been few and far between, but caught a little small mouth here. Let's get him back in the water. Well guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up for this episode, the uh, the Deep Creek Lake adventure. Um, mostly because I'm on day three and I didn't notice behind me there's like this severe thunderstorm coming. So I got to get the heck out of here. But uh, I'm glad you guys decided to tag along. Um, I had a really good time out here. I struggled to figure out the fish the entire time I was out here. Um, just could not seem to get anything going but the cool thing is i was able to put a couple fish in the boat species that i don't typically have any experience with so that that was cool that made it worth it just for that as always if you'd like to know anything about the lures or anything that i did today you can look down in the description box i'm going to leave some additional information down there but while you're there be sure to like share and subscribe to this channel the channel that is updated every week with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. So, I'll be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing. <laughs>